it is very common to put the JavaScript code in an external file and reference it inside the HTML with the script tag. In this video, we will see how to externalize the JavaScript code which has timeleaf code to access model attributes. So here is a project we had built earlier in my video, Spring Boot, accessing timeleaf model attributes in JavaScript, where we had defined a couple of model attributes in our controller and then in our HTML page inside the JavaScript we were accessing their values using the th inline javascript attribute and further accessing them inside using the special syntax of two square brackets followed by the dollar sign and then the variable name in curly braces. Then we displayed the value obtained in our html page. So now we want to externalize the script into an external file. First let's run the app to see the web page output before we make the change. So let's right click and choose run as Spring Boot app. Go to the browser and type http localhost 8080 slash demo slash my page and here we see our simple html page which is getting the values of the model attributes in timeleaf and displaying them here. Let us now externalize the javascript code. Go to our source main resources folder, right click and choose new folder and call it static. Now right click on static, choose new folder and call it js. Again right click on the js folder and choose new file and call it main.js. Now back to our html page, the script tag with the special th inline attribute is used to extract the values of the model attributes. We obtain the value of all the model attributes in the main page and then close the script tag here. This way, the variables are now available for the following JavaScript code to consume. Next, let's copy the remaining JavaScript code in our main.js file. Remove the trailing script tag. This is the code which consumes those variables. Since the variables were declared earlier in the HTML page, they are available for the rest of the code to consume. Next, let's go to our HTML file and bring in this JavaScript file by using script tag pointing the source to slash js slash main dot js. The two variables since they were declared earlier are available to the script. Let's relaunch our app. Go back to the browser and refresh the page and our page still works indicating we have successfully refactored the code. In this video we saw how to externalize the javascript code referring to the timeleaf attributes. We created a script tag referring to timeleaf with th inline equal to javascript and inside it obtain the values of all the model attributes we need and declare the variables there which we are going to use in the rest of the code. We take the remaining javascript code which consumes these variables and put it in its own file. And that is it. Thanks for watching.